So you can have the attitude of a devotion. So that's why he calls it, and you're devoted to obtaining the sacrament of uh, the, the, the graces. The graces that go with the sacrament. Oh yeah. Yes. Amen. That's true. Yes. That's true. But the Eucharist is a devotion. You go to take the Eucharist because of the graces that comes to you. That I understand because that's a term no. I've heard all my life. Now, uh, from the very start, when we started the sacraments, the definition of a sacrament is it's an external sign instituted by Christ to give grace. So you go to confession not because you necessarily have to go to, but you want to obtain the graces that that sacrament gives out. You see? Confession, uh, reconciliation is only necessary if you have a mortal sin. But when you see a holy man like Pope John Paul II, he goes to confession every week. Why does he go to confession? Of course he has sinned, but I'm pretty sure those are not mortal sins. Because the, the belief is in this, that's why I was going to start out when uh, a priest told me, you see, we, we, we start the Mass with, I confess. And you see, you have confessed all your sins, venial and mortal, during that time. He said, no. Even me. Until the time I receive the Eucharist, then I am still sinning. Like, for example, he was telling me, if, uh, let's say, he's saying the Mass and there was a child crying there, he was already sinning. Because in his mind he said, why doesn't that mother get that child out of here? See? Now, it may be a very small sin, but it's a sin. See? And that, that's why when you, when you go to something that is not really necessary, then it becomes devotion. But it's not necessary to say the rosary, but it's a devotion. Any other questions? Yeah. Is it forgiveness without confession? Yes. Because, because all you have to do is make a good act of confession if you do not have a mortal sin which is the uh, where it becomes a requirement, then you can go to uh, receive the Eucharist. And every time you ask for forgiveness, you have to have faith that God has forgiven you. As long as you have this thing here that you have repentance, you acknowledge that sin, whether it's big or not, and you have repentance for it, and you're asking for forgiveness. God would not deny you forgiveness. That is why he also said, there is no sin that cannot forgiven, be forgiven except the sin against the Holy Spirit. Which is, which he already explained what it is. The scene there is your denial of the graces of the Holy Spirit. So because you deny that, then your other sins can be forgiven. Yeah. Can we baptize dead people? Okay. Baptism is, you see, <laughs> you know, again, it's another. Uh, you will not find this again in any of the books. But uh, I was told by the Jesuit priest anyway, that if you think they're dead, baptize them anyway. Because you do not know whether they're dead, really dead or not. You have people who are declared clinically dead but come back from life. But they were not really dead. They were still alive. Except they did not have the vital signs anymore. Now, Officially, no more. Because once you die, then everything ends. See? If you bring sin to death, then those sins cannot be forgiven anymore. That is the teaching. But we have to look at everything not knowing how 
God's mind works. So, on these matters like that, you leave it up to the Lord. But although we were told before that if you, let's say it's a, an accident and you can perform an emergency baptism, right? Perform the baptism anyway. He could have been dead, he could still be alive. Yeah. We can baptize people even though they are not aware that the Lord is yes. baptized. Yes, it's opera, operato. In other words, it is the sacrament that operates. Okay. Now, reconciliation, then the person has to be sorry for his sin. But as far as baptism is concerned, all the sins are wiped out. Even the past sins. Now, RCIA. Actually, with RCIA, before they receive the sacraments, they are allowed to go to confession. But guess what? It's not necessary. Once they are baptized, all sins, and this is where we differ from them, all sins before the baptism, and not after, all the sins before baptism are wiped away. All the sins after is reconciliation. That's why it's called the sacraments of life. Yeah. Well, sacraments has to be ministered by a priest. Only. Priest? Or Only? Or the Ah. Uh, let's see. The reconciliation. Only a priest can do that. Confirmation. Confirmation. And holy orders. And that's about it. Ah, anointing of the sick. Anointing of the sick. Those four. Okay. Marriage. Marriage. The for the validity of the marriage. Uh, there should be. And for marriage, which you will take up later. Yeah. The priest is not administrating the sacrament. It is the couple. The priest is the witness of God. But for the validity of the marriage, as the a Catholic, Catholic marriage, yes, he has to be there. That's why there, are, there has to be witnesses. What? So a deacon can't do it. A deacon can do it. He can. Yeah. So no, not a priest. Or they can do it. No, that's why I did not say that uh, matrimony you need a priest. No, in the first place the priest is just a witness. The communion and baptism can be well, only the The Eucharist, uh, only the priest can consecrate. Yeah. Not even the deacon. Yeah, not but even deacon. In case of usefully, it is just with the priest, but emergency baptisms can be done by us. And we have to follow the uh, Trinitarian formula. Why? Because that's how Jesus told us. Go out baptizing people in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. He did not say in the name of the Creator and the Savior and the Paraclete. With some non-Catholic uh, 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 Christians, Use. But the main line Protestants like Lutherans, Methodists, uh, Anglicans, uh, well anyway, they use that formula. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And they pour water, whether you're dumped or, or not. But you notice, it has to be flowing water. So even in the place that you are dumped, it cannot be the swimming pool. Think about it. Because, ah yeah, it can. Because it flows. It flows. What if the pump is turned off? If the pump is turned off, then it's not valid. <laughs> yes. It can be some Or you can pour. Yeah, you can pour. Then it's flowing. Because they're dumped. No, but those are rituals now. Those are rituals in practice. Yeah. Well, I didn't practice. I just don't stir. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
That's why I what it's in the before, in the olden times, it was in the river. It's uh, set 940. Uh, you want to go now? Go, go. I have gone. <laughs>